My life is not an apology, but a life. It is for itself and not for a spectacle. I much prefer that it should be of a lower strain, so it be genuine and equal, than that it should be glittering and unsteady. My life should be unique. It should be an alms, a battle, a conquest, a medicine. What I must do is all that concerns me, not what people think. This rule may serve for the whole distinction between greatness and meanness. It is the harder because you will always find those who think they know what it is your duty better than you know it. It is easy in the world to live after the world's opinion. It is easy in solitude to live after our own. But the great man is he who in the midst of the crowd keeps with perfect sweetness the independence of solitude. Is it so bad than to be misunderstood? Pythagoras was misunderstood, and Socrates, and Jesus, and Luther, and Copernicus, and Galileo, and Newton, and every pure and wise spirit that ever took flesh. To be great is to be misunderstood. Let us bow and apologize nevermore. A great man is coming to eat at my house. I do not wish to please him. I wish that he should wish to please me. A true man belongs to no other time or place, but is the center of things. Where he is, there is nature. Every true man is a cause, a country, and an age. And posterity seems to follow his steps as a procession. A man Caesar is born, and for ages after we have a Roman Empire. Christ is born, and millions of minds so grow and cleave to his genius, that he is confounded with virtue and the possible of man. Insist on yourself, never imitate. That which each can do best None but his Maker can teach him. No man yet knows what it is, nor can, till that person has exhibited it. Where is the Master who could have taught Shakespeare? Where is the Master who could have instructed Franklin or Washington or Bacon or Newton? Every great man is a unique Shakespeare will never be made by the study of Shakespeare. Do that which is assigned you, and you cannot hope too much or dare too much. Abide in the simple and noble regions of thy life. No greater men are now than ever were. Phocion, Socrates, Anaxagoras, Diogenes, are great men, but they leave no class. He who is really of their class will not be called by their name, but be holy, his own man, and in his turn the founder of a sect. The arts and inventions of each period are only its costume and do not invigorate men. By Ralph Waldo Emerson.